this session, we will construct a model of a controlled pendulum. Other sessions will cover the simulation, visualization, and analysis of the model. You can model multi domain and signal flow systems in MapleSim. Here, we construct a pendulum with multi body components. The parameter inspector lets you change component properties and set initial conditions. The electrical library offers a range of analog, digital and multi-phase components and machines. Here we use a DC motor to actuate the joint. We will need to apply a voltage to the motor. The magnitude of the voltage will be a signal generated by a controller. In other models the signal could also be constructed from an arbitrary combination of other signals or imported from a data file. The search box lets you locate components by typing in the first few letters of its name. Here we have found a PID controller. The controller will be a simple proportional controller, although more sophisticated control schemes can be prototyped and optimised. The proportional gain will later be swept to investigate its influence on the control dynamics. We will control the angle of the pendulum. Hence we will need an angle sensor to provide the feedback signal. If needed, we could control the speed or the acceleration of the pendulum instead. We will ask the controller to move the pendulum to a specific angle by regulating the voltage applied to the motor. Probes let you plot simulation results. Probes are context sensitive. For example, adding a probe to the mechanical flange of a motor lets you view the angle, speed, acceleration and torque at the joint. Additionally, the numerical data from probes can be exported to a text file or analysed in Maple. In the next session, we will simulate and animate the model and explore the effect of parameter changes.